Hi guys, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. As you'll be able to see there, the US 30 is kind of slap bang in the middle, middle of a range. Bounced off its um, 21 period SMA yesterday. Uh, that's also in the back of a very, very poor uh, GDP figure that came out from the US yesterday. They're expecting two per, uh, minus two, came out minus 2.9. A uh, really bad figure, really, um, but it looks like there isn't going to be a rate hike anytime soon in the US. So there could be um, a little bit of extra cash trickling into the equity markets, even at these kind of heady highs. As people think, you know, low rates for longer uh, means they're, you know, they've got to try and get that yield from somewhere. So uh, there's a possibility that the equity markets will still be relatively supported, even by such a poor figure from the US. Uh, we are slightly in the, uh, positive territory today. Uh, we were a lot lower yesterday as well, incidentally, but we managed to finish on a positive note. 16,969 remains the potential resistance to look at there. The UK 100 um, is a slightly different story. Uh, though it bounced off potential support at 67.13, pretty much bang on yesterday. Uh, managed to make up some of that lost ground, but is showing a negative um, candle again today, uh, indicating there is definitely selling pressure pre evident just now. And uh, we are trading below both moving averages, specifically the 55 period. Uh, and we are quite close. Well, this is the potential resistance here at 67.74. Uh, that level uh, would have to be broken for the kind of selling pressure to kind of come off a little bit. Looking at Japan 225. Uh, Japan 25 has been flat last couple of days, uh, as has uh, dollar yen, incidentally. Um, nothing really too exciting, uh, interesting to report right here. The potential resistance still remains around about um, 15.828. We're miles from there just now. Potential support is at um, 14.977. So um, because we are so away, far away from there just now, you could be looking at this broken resistance here, around about 15.208. Uh, it could act as potential support if Japan 25 still drifts slightly lower over the next couple of sessions. So looking at dollar yen, um, dollar yen is slowly grinding uh, down towards 101 spot 35. Uh, we are at the bottom tips of these candles right here pretty much. That's it. Uh, run about 101 spot 60. Um, but this has been happening over the last couple of sessions as well. So slow grind lower, uh, slight bits of yen buying. Uh, along the way, I can see the yen's actually gained against some other currency pairs as well. Um, so that would be the level to look at. 101 spot 35 is the next major support, potential support. So crude oil West Texas had another volatile day yesterday. Uh, we did have um, crude oil inventories came out, uh, caused a little bit of volatility. Again, looks at one, 107 spot 86 is a potential resistance. That's once, twice, three, four times it's tried, tried and failed to break through there. Um, so we're still in the middle of the range, but um, if, the fundament, if the fundamentals permit, uh, 107 spot 86 could open up to 109 spot 24 um, if we get a break and close above there. Otherwise, 105 still remains a potential support to keep your eye on. So gold looks like it's finally um, managed to, I was going to say it's finally managed to uh, shake, out, shake out of its range. Very volatile day yesterday. We did hit the top of the range at 13.25. We also hit the bottom of the range at 13.07 um, and we're slightly drifting down as we speak right this second in fact um, so we're in about 1310 uh, could be the neckline uh, not the neckline but the uh, broken uh, uh, trend line from the symmetrical triangle formation we're still trying to get above 1332 or at least challenge it again but we're a little bit away from there just now so this will be the level that will be relatively strategic in the short term for many traders to be looking at and that will give you a bit of an idea about where we are so looking at your dollars actually been doing not so bad last couple of sessions uh, and it's actually having a bit of a retest of uh, one spot 36.45. Uh, that GDP figure yesterday really hurting the US dollar. Uh, lost a lot of ground against uh, many currencies um, as those the, the interest rate hikes seem to be uh, quite distant in 2015. Um, the euro uh, has, has certainly strengthened against the USD. If we do break and close above there, that's a big level to get above, then 37.09 is the next potential resistance. I'm finishing up there with GBP USD. Um, it's not actually done so well versus the euro. Uh, I guess the GBP also had that double whammy of just a few days ago um, when uh, Kearney basically came out and said, oh yeah, by the way, rates aren't gonna rise at the end of this year. In fact, real wages are, are softer than expected. Rates will remain lower for longer. And that was, uh, this was the Thursday when he said, oh no, everything's all looking great. And this is the day there when he kind of backtracked completely. So that's probably put the lead in GBP USD slightly, um, but one spot 69.95 is a potential resistance to keep your eye on. So economic data wise, you've got jobless claims. People will be looking at, at that big time today. If you're, you're a dollar trader or a cable trader, keep your eye on there. 
And if we fast forward on to Friday, uh, you can see you've got uh, UK GDP, uh, Eurozone consumer confidence, and you've got the University of Michigan Consumer Sentiment Survey data due, and that will round us up for the week. Keep your eye on Barclays. It was down about 5% earlier on this morning in the back of uh, US Treasury um, investigation into their practices. It's already jumped up uh, an extra percent while we've been recording this session, um, but the chart for Barclays makes it look very weak. In fact, just to quickly give you a bit of an idea, uh, let's go ahead and have a look at that now. Um, you can get a bit of a flavor of how these things are going. So that's where we currently are. And if I finish up actually by just looking at the client sentiment, you can really get a, get a flavor of how the markets are trading. US 30 is net short, Germany 30 is net short, Japan 25 net buyers, UK 100 net buyers. So a real mixed bag uh, of uh, client sentiment as well. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.